Oh, this is our intro, right? Here we are. I'm out with your boy. The J to the D. At last. Here we go, man. Back in the woods. Where Back we in belong. the woods where we belong. And look what we've just stumbled across. A bumper crop of hedgehog mushrooms. So we're just going to fill our boots with whatever we need for tonight. Have a little bit of a cook up and just spend a nice evening under the, under the leaves while they're still here. Right, let's, quick, let's pick a few of these then. Oh, you can't really see the light isn't very good but I've got a lovely selection of mushrooms got some chanterelles hedgehog mushrooms shaggy parasols common puffballs we've got loads of stuff these are the star of the show for me so colorful so fragrant beautiful Yeah, and this is a juvenile, that shaggy parasol. Perfect size, actually. Perfect eating size before, before it all opens up at the bottom. Oh, One stick fire, like that. Then use your 90 degree on the back. <sighs> Create a lot of finer things, finer ones. Hey, it's down, it started down there, look. Sometimes it just doesn't pan out how you expect it, but it works out okay. This is one of them times, look, see? We've just come for a quick beer on the edge of this woodland, so sorry about the lighting for those that are watching. We're just gonna crack a couple of beverages, answer some questions, try not to look into this screen, and uh, and see where we go. Beer? Yeah, beer, sir. Oh, this is a special one, for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for royalty, shout out. royalty yeah, for oh, yeah. photo. Really. There's a few, there's a few, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so Technically, sure. it's a, well, I presume it's a screen grabber. For... Yeah, it's a screen grabber something Joey D took, look. And that's just... I tell everyone about that magical evening that we, I mean, we couldn't have had better weather. And do you tell people about honest? No, you don't. About how... Yeah, of course I do. I was like... When everyone was like, what was it like? I'm like, well, climbing Ben Nevis was... We, I think we had the best weather slash window you could ever get. No one you could it. drop a feather and it would have just fallen straight to the floor, wouldn't it? Perfect conditions and an, an incredible sunset. No one there. The sunset was delight. If, if you weren't moaning, like for ninety eight percent of it, it oh, would have been. Give magical. us a little bit of credit. It was. It was seventy five percent. It was one of them ones where because it was the first. It I was thought like, it was just the last thirty percent. I really started moaning. If you think about yeah, the mountain no, in the no, hole, you, you did. Yeah, you were all right on top on the first. Sort of segment. But then we hit the scree. Yeah. And it was like... It was, and it was long on it as well. Because there was times where I was going to tap out, weren't there? Oh, many. Frequent. Often. Yeah, I think I said it on each peak, maybe. No, there was nah, two I real... Think, uh, once you got past... Um, 
Once you got past the lion's share of Scarfell, you were there wasn't any question really. I don't think you really doubted it. And then doing the um, Yorkshire Three Peaks, there was a bit after Penny Ghent, yeah. which is the first peak, in between there and is it Wernside? Uh, the second one. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, in between there, there was a point where I felt like I wasn't going to make it more than any of the three other three yeah, peaks. Like. Yeah. I mean, that that just looked so much harder. It felt harder for me, so God knows how it felt for your feet. Which, of again, looked so much worse after that than they did after the Nationals, didn't they? Yeah. They were just... Beaten up, mate. There were blood blisters, and it was like... You, the things you can't see, it's like my... All, I couldn't walk for days. I could walk after the Nationals, all right, but mm. after the Archery Peaks, I was like, two days, I couldn't put my feet down without it really hurting. <laughs> but I nearly tapped out. I did nearly tap didn't out. Didn't know. Didn't tap out. <laughs> didn't tap out. I was actually running at one point. Yeah. Just yeah. Cause... Mad. You'd gone mad. You'd lost it for a little bit. Did I? Like I lost it, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. But that was good. That got us through it. It's good to lose it every now and again, just a yeah. little bit, innit? Yeah. You know, just to get you to end. And anyway, so, yeah, I'd like you to do it. Honestly, mate, so this is a thanks to you as well, like, just for being with me, because I know I get all glory because I was at bare feet and that, but Let's have a look. I couldn't have done it without you. And it's just... a great looking can, that, as well. It's pretty good, and inside yeah. it's got photos and shit, and yeah, it looks the link to the um, Just Giving page, which is amazing. Now, I've actually had one of these. I came out to do a hammock camp the other day. and David Bellamy. David Bellamy. He's done a drive-by for those just listening. It smells very fruity. That's what I said. Let's see how much mm. marries up to what I said originally. Solero, yeah, you're right. Like a Solero. Let's go, mate. Yeah, cheers. Much love, mate. Thank you. Sorry, I was just doing the tasting before mm. I went into mm -hmm. the... Mm. And so you should. Nice. It's juicy. What what percent? Six. I didn't actually look. Six. Six yeah. percent. I think it's lovely. It's light, but also juicy and quite... Mm. It's bitter on the nice. finish. Yeah. I think it's got everything in it. It's it's one of them, it, gets, it does actually get better the more you drink it. It's not like a, oh, I couldn't have a full can of it. It's a, mm. oh, I could do a few of these. Yeah. I could do a few of these and get me selling a bit, a bit of bother. Uh, yeah. Would you be in a bit of bother? Oh, I'd be in loads of bother, mate. How I'm many? in bother now. So. How many? You're at now? Just now after... Right now, after two sips, I, mean, I know I'm in bother. <laughs> he's, he's, you know you've messed up, don't you, yeah. already? Who Were you ever in, in the military, question mark, you use very specific slang? Well, yeah. You've oh, answered no. this. Kind of, no. But, no, I'll say this. No. I wasn't in the military. Also, I'll say this. You are welcome for your freedom. What? And that's all I'll say on it. That was a lot of birds, isn't it? A lot of people. Well, two. Three, four. Yeah, pigeons, look. Sorry for those just... Put up by Gossark, no doubt. I put up by Peregrine Falcon. <laughs> shut it, didn't it? <laughs> the Welsh Pathfinder. Would, Would you, you rather, rather give a blind person wrong directions... <laughs> Or slap an ice cream from a kid's hand. Oh, I'd love to give a blind person. I'd rather give a blind person. Would you? I'd, I'd hate to slap her. This is controversial. Ice cream from a kid's hand. Why? I've got kids. So if a man, a grown man that looked like you, yeah. came up to your kids and just slapped his yeah. fucking salera out of his hand, what would you do? Dance around laughing and what? at last. Why did he get worried about having to have a confrontation? <laughs> Shitty, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'd knock him, size him up. I'd headbutt him. Would you? Yes. <laughs> and headbutt everything. We've got headbutt kid, headbutt ice cream. <laughs> it's like ramming my head into ice cream on the floor. Him. He's lost it. <laughs> he's, gone. he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's button bashing. He's button bashing his way through life. <laughs> he's gone on button bashing. No, he's just headbutting ice cream on the floor like that. <laughs> he's tapped. Uh, we're, so, yeah, I wouldn't like to... Hit, I'd feel guilty of hitting an ice cream out of a Would kid. Would you? Depends what the kind of kid. If it was one of them, American. like, bully sort of kids, and them American bullies, that fat kids, like, Rrr. yeah. It's only an ice cream, isn't it? That blind person might go the wrong way, isn't that? Big There's year. something quite dark about sending a blind man the wrong yeah. way, isn't there? Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, you're right. If you're blind, you want all the help you can get, so... Because you could slap the ice cream out of his hand and then buy him at home. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't buy him Film it. eyes. Film his response, get loads of views on YouTube. You satisfy this lad here, satisfy the Welsh Pathfinder. Yeah. You couldn't 
re like once that guy that bl- blind guy's walked off end at pier he's not that's it <laughs> <laughs> no one said anything about that but yeah oh Sean McThomas or something who would win in a fight prime time Mike Tyson or seven prime time Joey D's mm. that's a good question actually yeah, there's a lot that's a lot of me a lot riding on it isn't there <clears throat> a lot of me it's a lot of you in it but one Tyson <laughs> in his prime is a lot I mean, one <laughs> right. one punch is that's, probably I reckon Tyson would do that through two or three this, of them, right, this is what I'm saying here <laughs> I'm saying Tyson, right? And I'm saying he does it in less than seven punches. <laughs> you, you, you do the math. I think the last JD just collapses of a heart attack <laughs> after seeing... No, I think a punch he could get through like a couple in one punch. I think mean, that's the thing. <laughs> in ring as well. Lined up. In ring where you can't yeah, get yeah. away. The lined up. No gloves on as well. And he's just... Oh, he's just wailing. Because put it this way, right? Anything he could throw at Tyson's face... It, he's not doing anything. He's not it? rocking his neck he's or anything. anything. No. No. It's an easy question. At first, I was like, that's good, actually, because maybe Smart. maybe you could overwhelm smother him. Smother him? Yeah. Bap, bap, bap. Seven's a lot. Seven He'd is a lot. You'd have to be smothering rather. I wouldn't be able to hit him. You he's know, not, like... Me hitting him, like, literally, is going to do nothing. Do you know when, like, a big hornet comes to a bee's nest and they all gather round yeah, it and yeah, they yeah, vibrate like, and, like, warm, warm, warm it yeah, up? Yeah. <laughs> you could just get, around, get on him and just go... <laughs> sweat him, like, make him pass out yeah. from being hot. Yeah, because I've got a lot of air, so... Loads, seven of them hairdos all just on him vibrating. <laughs> Drunk. He's gonna be like, I'm. I just goes limp. I can. I'll get it too high here. You're real killing me. Oh my god! I thought I was so strong. Terrible, real terrible. But Tyson. Yeah. Oh sure. It's not the game, is it? Shag, marry, snog. Ed Stafford, Ray Mears, Jason Fox. Stafford, Ray Mears, Shag. What is it? Shag, marry, snog. Yeah. Um. I thought it was kill, marry. Kill Mary. Kill Mary Shag, won't it? That's what it's no, supposed to be. I don't. You kill one. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. <laughs> Straight off the bat, right? I'm shagging Ray Mears because he'd be tender and lot, there's like, you know, there's a lot of cushing. There's a lot of like, smoke, like padding. Oh, yeah. Go on. You know, oh, mine's be, different already. It'd be comfortable. I'm snogging Jason Fox because we'll maybe just get a bit pissed up and up so we've had a snog. And I'm just shagging Ed Stafford for banter. <laughs> I don't mar- know why I'm mean. I'm marrying uh, Ray Mears. Uh, well, who's marrying who? Oh, who did I'm I marry? Ma- you married... Um, oh, I had Stafford. Yeah. No, why no, did I just shag everyone? Anyone. I've just shagged everyone. <laughs> What's the sh- game? I've shagged you everyone. You shagged Ray, haven't Ed? <laughs> oh, right. That's, oh. Uh, that's typical you, though, isn't it? I know. You can't go... There ain't no marrying in your life, is right, there? Right, okay. I've shagged everyone. Did, did your remaining bollock get bigger when there was nowhere for the other 50% of the bollock to go? Um, no, it didn't, but it does. It did start to produce twice as much testosterone, and I guess yeah, twice as much of everything. So it knows the other one's gone. So essentially, it becomes a super nut. Misses it. I miss it dearly. They asked. It, they said I could get a fake one, like a yeah, like a marble. No, like a, I could have it made of like a, you could have had one that glowed. Could have had a little bell like Pinocchio's yeah. hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how quickly that got annoying. Ding, 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 ding. Like a cowbell. <laughs> they, are, they offered me a synthetic nut, but I was like, right, I'll have this. You know, for when you're single, you don't want to have to, when you first sleep with someone, you don't want to have to, like, have to say, by the way, I've only got one nut. Because if they find it during, and you're like, uh, by the way, I had cancer, it's a bit of a mood killer, isn't it? So they offered me a plaggy nut, and then one of the things was, it could rupture on long haul flights. So I was like, nah. Ah, right. I think I'll give it a swirl. How many long haul flights have you been on since? None. <laughs> Harry Wood, Northern Monk, wild camping, your right arm, you have to give one up, which one is going? Northern Monk. Northern Monk. <laughs> right arm. Um, this one says, how are you, mate? I'm actually really good, thanks. Uh, I'm pretty well. Yeah, I'm all right, actually. A bit tired, but... A bit tired, but you know, yeah, gas you is really half full. You don't really want to know, do you? You're asking. We're struggling. You really struggling. Know. Yeah, no. Well, that's why if we get, cha- If you're asking, actually, if you want to, if you want to know, it's, things are not good. <laughs> now we'll talk about that rap fire later. That's fine. That's for later. Don't don't bring it out now. Keep it upbeat. <laughs> Keep it upbeat. Right, Hick Burps. Good good name, Burp, actually. Yeah. What's your opinion with regards to pineapple on pizza? No. Fan of it. What? No. Simple. See you later. I, I can't like believe it. you went I there. like the sweet and I like get, I like, you? I get jalapenos and pineapple. I don't like it. All right. Stop it. Oh, that jalapeno. It's good. Stop it. Right. In a sweet and sour. 
a different ball game. Well, there we go. Then. We just pulled opposites there. <coughs> I had a pigeon flying. I've had a couple, but a pigeon flew into my bedroom window recently and then landed in the garden. It broke its wing. And initially, I'd, I'd messaged Joe and I was like, oh, what, should, I, should I kill it? And he, we had a bit of banter anyway, a bit of funniness about like, what was it? Like, oh, cr- create an animal sanctuary and when people bring, <laughs> when people bring animals to the sanctuary, just eat them. Yeah, like a re- like a cafe slash restaurant and an animal. Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, it's like cafe slash animal sanctuary. Yeah, and then people never. It's like we're always like that. Oh, like meat pie. It's just meat. Yeah, meat d- undisclosed meat pies, <laughs> and people are like, yeah. Well, I brought uh, you know there was this badger that was hit by a car. He didn't. Make it. He didn't I mean, like all we ever say was oh, it didn't, didn't make. Yeah, we, in fact we've just Can got a try? sign that says it didn't make it because we're sick of talking. We're just like <laughs> didn't make it again. It didn't make it. You two are getting fat. And then we're just getting fat as making loads of money and that. Fur coats with fat bellies. So anyway, we had a bit of banter, which was basically that. And and so I thought it was a wood pigeon that had hit my window and it was hobbling around the garden. And so I, I got an air rifle and I went out. I thought, do you know what? I might as well. I'll have it before Fox does and I'll right. eat it. And I went out and it ran behind this bush and then it, just a few little things happened. And I just, within that five minutes was like, I decided I wasn't going to kill it. And so I fed it instead. I fed <laughs> it. it up. No, yeah, I kept feeding it. And it took about a week of going out every day. I was feeding it. It kept running away from me and fl- like trying to get into the bushes and that. And I kept feeding it and feeding it. <laughs> and then I came out and it flew. Instead of just flying and like landing on deck, it flew and it landed on the fence. So it was like, oh, it can fly again. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I've, I've cured it. And I felt mint. Mm-hmm. Went to Whitby, had a day out. I felt brilliant. Came back. Feathers just in middle of the garden. Summit's had it in day. <laughs> Probably a cat. So man. what I've given it is false hope. You kept it alive just long enough. Plumped it up for Fox. Fox yeah. wasn't bothered about it until it got plump, and then it was like, "Yeah, I'll have it." They got to a point where there was I couldn't have killed it for food because it was like, right. I liked it as a pigeon. You I would have killed it. Though, I, mean, if I it, mean, it would have been. If it really boiled down to wouldn't you? Yeah. Kill you if it if was. zombies were knocking on door. Oh, but you'd be going in a baguette if it was zombies on knocking on door. Clink. We're putting some smoked bacon lardons in first. And we have this um, chili, which is uh, basically. A smoked chilli. Can't remember the name, but it smells delicious. And uh, shout out Tubby Tom for this. It looks like an ancho. It looks like, like an, an ancho chilli. An ancho. I don't, I don't know if that's... Mexican style, you mean. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yes, shout out Tubby Tom for the chilli. We're just going to chop that up and bang that in with all the uh, wild mushrooms. Shaggy parasols in there, look. Look at that. That's just smoked bacon. Like pancetta, is it? Well, I guess bacon lardons, um, and just loads of different wild mushrooms, chanterelles, shaggy parasols, hedgehog mushrooms, puff balls. Man, beautiful! And that big boy can he can stay out of it for now. <laughs> Look, and then we've got the bits of the you see them black bits. That's the chili just there, chopped up in there, real jammy. Caramelised chilli, smoked to within an inch of its life. Beautiful. Oh, there it is, look. That's it, we've got our tomatoes are in there, the kidney beans, the mints, the bacon, the wild mushrooms, garlic, the tubby tom chilli. And that is going to be one of the greatest chilli con carnies that the world has ever seen. Oh, undoubtedly. And then we've got two baked potatoes in, well, two taties in tin foil that are going to be baked off. And then we'll have it over the top. And that's just, re- we're going to re- let that chill for a, as long as we can. Season it up. Pez dispenser. Right, here we go. The jacket potato is out, lovely, light and fluffy, with a crispy skin on it. And uh, oh, my woodland wife is just serving up some of our 
Look at this man, this is wild mushroom chilli with so much love and attention that's gone into this man. This is going to be one of the best camp meals we've ever had in it. I'm, I'm predicting so. He's predicting a riot, a taste I riot. Mean, you think something could go wrong with that? No, you can't better it can you really? Look at it. Right, look at that. So, as well, it, tell me a more autumnal dish than jacket spud with chilli in it. Like, that is bonfire night, that is of the time, in it? Perfect, man. Hot. It's almost too hot, I reckon. No. No, not too hot? No. Oh. I feel like it'll get like, let me have a go. Let's have a go. Look at that, man. Oh, it's deep. That flavour. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know what that potato seems like it's got butter on it? Yeah. It's really soft and like... It, yeah, it looks dry, but it's put it in your not. mouth, it's like creamy. Yeah. It's not fiery hot because of chilli, but... No. There is a tingle. Yep. And there's definitely it a... It gives fl that. The flavour. That's yeah. the, the, one of the predominant flavours coming through is that big chilli. Yeah. Um, which is so earthy and smoky, which fits the shrooms. <laughs> a lot of the shrooms are still there as well, aren't they? You, you expect them to almost just be wasted. Yeah, but they're just... there's, a, there's a bite to them. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've just made, well, one of the greatest chilies I've ever had. Oh, yeah. For many reasons. Yeah. Um, and to have it with a baked potato is very... Very autumn, isn't it? You know, like bonfire night is this is their dish. <laughs> it is, yeah. But you don't normally have <laughs> don't chanterelles like. and hedgehog mushrooms and. No. The bacon lardons. I mean, you're paying some, some for ticket where bonfire night is like. Yeah. Yeah, chanterelle based. Yeah. You're at Elton John's house, aren't you, or something? You've gone to one of these parties. <laughs> Are people still listening, right? If you're listening to this. And you're thinking, oh, these guys must be high because it's all they do. So we're not. Not, not at all. We're literally not. But we're both. Oh, we should put these on actually while we're around. Yeah. Me and Joe both. One of our passions is is cooking and ingredients. So this to us, it, this is our hobby, mate. This is what we are into. Putting all these ingredients together, cooking something like this. So of course we're just going to sit and wax lyrical about it because we we are actually excited about this. This is our Disneyland, man. Again, like we always say, or I always say as well, like, if you just imagine how much you would pay for this at yeah. a restaurant or a pub or whatever, with the ingredients that are in it, the time, everything. It's grade A stuff. In fact, you probably wouldn't ever be able to. No. Because we were both saying that we've never had a dish that's had as many wild mushrooms in one dish as this. Usually you'll forage a mushroom and that'll be the, that'll showcase your meal. Whereas now we've just chucked all the mushrooms that we've foraged into this, so it's just uh, so earthy. It, feel, it feels extravagant and, and almost like you know people will be like, well, why didn't you just eat the mushroom yeah. in the bacon? But because they're free and green. We've done it as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've had that flavour. I've had that taste. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's great. Don't get me wrong. But have but, you ever had chili with like five different mushrooms? No. no? No. 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 Yeah. Exactly. And you can't. It's not something you would do at home as well, because it is just. It's like oh, you've been a bit lavish with ingredients, but yeah. when you come out like this, why not? Mm. We've had our chili con carne, and it was delicious. Um, we're just going to share a couple of rare breed northern monks together. I'm not going to do any more filming because we don't see each other often, so we're going to have a little catch up. Um, maybe microdose some button mushrooms, all that sort of stuff, so I'll leave it here. We're just going to chill around fire for the rest of the evening.
that's how you do it, boy. There we go. That's where our camp was. That's where that fire. And there's absolutely no trace that we've been there. Except for Mr. Shaggy Parasol. It was our mascot last night. We uh, plonked him at the back of the fire and he just cut a fantastic little figure all night. It's something good to look at. And we just, we didn't really drink much. We just had one or two beers, so we feel great today. Last night was just all about the mushrooms. It was kind of a mushroom trip, really, because we got, uh, we collected so many and we ate mushrooms and we stared at this mushroom. <laughs> so... This one was all about the mushrooms, big up. Big up the fungus of the world. Slept well, just in bivy bag last night. Didn't show you fruit kit, but I was just in my alp kit bivy bag. Joe was just in his tent without the outer layer on it. Um, just kept it really simple, <clears throat> just under one tarp. And that was it. Nice to wake up on the floor and be connected to this, to this woodland. That's it mate, that's it mate! <laughs> Didn't do much waffling on and stuff because it was nice to be out and it was nice to just chill and uh, just appreciate it mate and that chilli that we cooked was... Pfft. What are you giving it out of ten? What? Big ten that mate. Big ten that mate. Yeah. There you go, smoky, beautiful, wild mushroom chilli was absolutely fantastic. Right, that was a wonderful camp, mushroom inspired wild camp with my boy. See you next time. Au revoir. Sal drags me in with him. <laughs> oh, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, good, good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Love you, bye. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise onto the top. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they buzz all the gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they buzz all the gone by by the month.